Hello everyone, I am Mama T. Welcome to my reviews. Uh, I love reviewing items and uh, products and letting others know about how I feel about them and what I think about them. And uh, keep in mind, I'm not getting any kickbacks. I'm not getting anything for this. It's just something that I like to do. I feel like pay it forward. You know, if you see something that's good, share it. If you see something that's not so good, share it. So anyways, um, I was thinking about my wood blocks. I love wood blocks. I don't know if you could see it that well. Move that back a little bit. Um, my wood blocks. So I love having a wood block on my countertop, but it gets a lot of use. Um, what I don't do is I don't cut chicken on it. I don't cut um, beef on it. This is basically for, um, you know, breads and vegetables and different things like that. So I don't mix and match my food. That's a no-no. So, but over time, it just, it just needs a little bit of more refresh, refreshment. So what I did was I bought this uh, food grade mineral oil. So I'm going to try this right in front of you. I did my homework on all the different kind of wood oils and uh, this one seemed to be the best and had the best reviews. So um, I opened it already. So it does come with a protective seal. Oh, I guess I didn't open it already. I think I was going to, but it comes with a protective seal. So I'm going to take that off. And they say that you can just rub it on your board with um, just your hand or um, a rag. Let me back this up a little bit more. Okay, because I want you to see everything. Okay, but what I decided to do was get this oil and wax applicator because I really don't want to do it with my hair. I don't want to do it with my hair. So I got this applicator. Like a shoe shine kit, right? Looks or shaving, and anyways. All right. So what it says to do is just pour a generous amount. I mean, it looks like I put a lot on there, huh? But it says it says pour a generous amount. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub it in there, and uh, you won't see the end result, but I'll show you in another video as far as that goes. I'll show you the before and after pictures as well. And it says just get it in there and get it in the grooves, but let it sit for at least 24 hours. So don't use the cutting board, don't wipe it off. Don't wipe off the oil. The oil needs to seep into the wood. And I'm gonna tell you why that's important. It says give a good amount in there. So I'm just rubbing it all in there. I'm not gonna do the bottom side because the bottom side, it's never used. So, and um, I put it on a protective padding on the bottom so that it doesn't move, um, but I already checked it and the bottom is fine. This is the part that I'm worried about. So I'm gonna just let that sit there. So I just wanted to give you information on what I've learned about this. So uh, I'm gonna leave that just like that. And um, I'm going to post another video and let you see it after 24 hours, okay? Um, the reason why I want to do that is because here's another cutting board. This used to be my favorite, but if you put it in too much water, you know, you don't want to put your cutting boards in water. You want to just wipe them down, um, dry them off, uh, but eventually every once in a while, you want to add some oil to it so that it kind of revives the wood. Otherwise, if you don't, you see how it starts to crack? gonna start to crack so you don't want that if it starts to crack that means that it's warping too much you got too much water in there um, it didn't dry good uh, and the whole thing could just split uh, you don't want to put certain things in there because it, it'll get down into the crack so that's why again I don't do meats or chickens and anything on on these type of boards but I want to revive this one too because it was, it was my favorite so I'm gonna move this off to the side and that's what I said. This is what I have on the bottom of that to so keep it. It's like a non-skid, so that it doesn't move. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of this one now. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one because I'm gonna give this one just as much love because this was my first love. This was my first love. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to that one, to this one, just to revive it. After you use it so much, it just starts looking old and beaded and tattered. So that's what I wanted to share with you today to take care of your cutting boards. We, we tend to forget about those things. We just put them off to the side, but take care of them. How many of you remember uh, that cutting board that was in the cabinet as you grew up? Am I dating myself? There's that one cutting board that was a, was a part of the cabinetry and you pull it out and Lord knows what's been on it. I'm sure in my home there was everything cut on that board. Um, today, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want one of those boards. I don't want something I could take and clean um, a little bit better. So anyways, this is my tip. It's not so much of a review today, it's more of a tip to take care of your cutting boards, okay? And again, um, I did. I am reviewing the product though because I wanna know how well it works. I wanna know if it does what it says it's supposed to do. So again, uh, I did my homework and this is the food grade mineral oil. Could you use regular mineral oil? I, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, it says this is for a wood block. So I, I'm gonna stick to what, what they're telling me. Um, Oh, this is made for cutting boards because it says, hello, you're one step closer to having a food safe cutting board. That's what I want. So again, this is the Clark's oil and wax applicator um, and the food grade mineral oil. And it's called 13, it's called 13. So anyways, all right. So that is it for today. That is your kitchen tip. Take care of your cutting boards. Very important. All right. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, give me a like, um, share this with your friends. Let me know what you want me to review in the comments and I'll do the best that I can. And I hope to, um, I, I hope to have lots of followers so I, I can, I can know that I'm actually talking to somebody. So, all right. Thank you so much for listening and we'll talk to you soon. This is Mama T's review. I'm out.